Hey, what's going on everybody? Dave here with another unboxing. Yes, that's right. Um, this is part one of two. This is from the the prize pack um, that I won from Sideshow for their 100,000 um, subscribers on Facebook. I really want to give a shout out and thank Sideshow and uh, mainly thank um, Mistress of uh, Facebook, uh, Susan D. Um, great person to deal with uh, recently just got married so congrats to her um, anyway so I ended up winning the duo pack of the 66 um, Batman and Robin and we're starting off with the Robin um, came completely sealed in its packaging as you guys saw earlier well you didn't see these um, I just showed after they were out of the box so there's the brown shipper you guys have all seen it <coughs> Here is our color um, box and you know I wasn't too sure I grew up um, watching watching this while all my friends were watching you know Transformers and G.I. Joe and, and all those other things my household was a little more strict um, I got things like uh, the Munsters and Adam's family and of course Batman <coughs> which I still think um, uh, I don't know. Out of all the Jokers, I still like the old, uh, the old style Joker. Um, but you had all those. It was it was funny. It was great for for the time period and everything. Um, I still watch an episode every once in a while. Um, classic series. Um, and th mentioning that, uh, this is from the Batman classic series. I am really hoping that they do um, uh, Catwoman and like. Uh, the classic Joker that would be great um, anyway so this is uh, the Hot Toys uh, if you guys can yeah you guys can't see that um, Hot Toys movie masterpiece DC Comics um, the the packaging has this if you can tell I don't know if you guys can tell or not there's like this um, ribbed um, both in the individual rays and then also um, it's, it's just a texture. It's kind of nice, but it's only in, in the light part. Um, you've got the, the Robin emblem with the MMS uh, 219 um, playing back with the... Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to break out my uh, DLSR to be able to do these bigger bigger uh, things. And, uh, and I can't do it with holding a camera. I, I don't have too many more of these to, to do um, to finish out the ones that I wanted. Um, so just bear with me. Um, you get the bad emblem on there. You get the warning. Um, oh, holy bat crap, Batman. You can choke on things in this package. Um, and you get the, the Robin 1-6 scale collectible figure. So we pull off the outer sleeve. And there is Burt Ward as the boy wonder. Um, as he's laid out in the package. Um, now this one I'm kind of curious. It, it, it is sealed and everything. Um, but his head's turned sideways, uh, and I've never gotten a figure that way, uh, which is kind of kind of odd. But um, now it's straight in into the packaging, um, looks like uh, some back cuffs and hands and things like that. But let's get into it. So, if I had been organized, we will slice the seal. Let me get this out of the way, so I don't smack the camera um, that's right this one opens differently than the others all right so we got um, I forgot to show you guys the back side of the packaging come on so you've got the R you've got presented by uh, hot uh, hot hot toys um, who the sculptors uh, all of that is and then the Robin 1-6 scale figure on the, the back there. Now getting into the inside of the box, uh, as you can see, this has the, the window thing so that you can set it up while it's laying down um, to do that. Now here's, the, and I just, you guys just heard me open it and everything. There's a crease on the, the packaging here. I mean, I'm not, I am not a package person uh, I'm trying to keep it clean guys I'm not a package person um, so I don't really care about tens and dings 
Um, all right, so you you have this part here. Um, you've got the notch up at the front that you can hook the, the battering in if you want to do them um, climbing up the side of the building. I'm not going to open the windows or anything because I don't want to crease that. Um, you've all over inside. It just says it has the na 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 um, which is a, a really cool. We get that out of the way. Now, uh, back here, so this ended up sliding off the cape, sort of. The, the tape stuck to it. This was supposed to go over the cape to protect it. Um, I've seen this in other videos, so you do have to be kind of cautious when you're pulling out the figure um, because of that. Let's slide out the instructions, see if there's anything important that we really need to know. Um, I am super stoked. I have, of all the the past figures that have come out, I have almost all the ones that I have wanted. Um, the only two that are left right now is the, the DX13, which as you can see, I have part of over here, um, but he's getting bashed into a final scene. Um, and then uh, an actual uh, endoskeleton. So I will end up finding those. Now this is the biggest instruction sheet I've ever gotten from hot, uh, out of any of the Hot Toys figures. So on here, you've got this part. Um, rotate head, tilting it downwards, otherwise may cause paint fading on neck. Mask is non-removable, do not take it off. Um, I have a feeling though, looking at pictures, I, if you did it just right, you could get it off. Um, um, let's see here. To cling the cape closer to the body's figure, snap the buttons on the um, on the back and on the shoulders. Uh, accessories showing you what hands hold what. You've got the the bat cuffs, um, the bat radio, the battering. Um, how to attach the rope to the battering. Um, forearms can bend 90 degrees upwards, uh, but do not bend the forearm backwards. We all know that. Um, do not scratch the leggings of the cape with any sharp objects as they might be damaged the costume. Utility belt is not detachable. Do not try and take it off. Um, back here, climbing diorama. Showing you how to set that up um, so that you can have them doing that. I personally think it looks kind of dorky having it laying down. Um, it, it, if you could set it up uh, right to where you know they were climbing up, that would be kind of cool. Um, but this is just showing you how to set it up and everything. I won't be doing that personally. And that's it. The other side's blank. So let's put that back into its envelope. All right. So. All right, so we pull that off. <clears throat> All right, so inside here we have hands falling. Um, here, let me just do it this way because it will be easier all the way around. Let's just pull everything out. Um, it is nice. One of the things I'm noticing is the chain on the back cuffs are actually metal. And there's a lot of hands in here. Good Lord. So the cape actually slid out fairly easy. Um, let's see. The only thing I'm not taking out is our classic Hot Toys chewy candy, which you don't want to eat. And we'll bring you guys over. Oh, by the way, I think I figured out the problem with the the clicky click 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 um, with the camera. Um, if I would, I had it set on um, 720, 
so that I could, you know, just click a button and do like more zoom in shots. There's uh, there's a problem with the camera that somehow or for some reason um, set on 720, no matter what it is, it, it makes the lens a uh, flicker inside the case, um, which gives you that clicky noise. So we fix that crap. Uh, we are back to 1080p. Um, okay, so you have your classic uh, Batman base. Um, let's see. So it's Batman, it says Robin on there, nice and bright. Uh, going through the accessories, you get two of these hands. The detail is very nice um, on all these gloves. Um, the paint application, even the highlighting on it, very well done. So you get a right and a left in that. I believe that's for holding um, the bat radio. You get a fist. Again, with the shading and the, the highlights on there. Um, I'm really appreciating that. Um, you get another fist for the right hand. And I will... I'll focus that in a second, guys. So you get two right hands for this. Um, I think that's for holding the battering and maybe that one's for the rope. They look really similar though. Odd. Um, you get another holding hand. Finger separation between the index and second finger. <clears throat> uh, left hand you get uh, a gripping hand. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. You get, as I stated, the back cuffs, which do open and close. So that's very cool. Uh, you get the battering, uh, very simple. You got the hole on there for the bat rope. And then you got the extra wrist pegs, which are in the green to match um, the gauntlets and the hands. Um, and then you get the bat radio. Now here's a nice touch and I noticed this as soon as it came out. Uh, these are not, but this is actual brass for the handle. So that's, uh, that's a very nice touch that they actually used uh, metal on that. Um, so that's really cool. Um, you get the bat radio. Uh, paint application and everything looks really good on these guys. So, uh, in total, if you count what's on him, you get two, four, six, eight, ten, ten hands. Um, that's crazy. But it gives you plenty of possibilities. All right, so let's pull off the plastic piece for the head. And you can tell here, move this in so it's a little bit brighter in the light. The likeness of Burt Ward is very well done. I'm, I'm actually watching it on the camera up there um, or on the video. The eyes are very well done. Let's zoom. Wait. Zoom, 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 zoom. Come on. Facial features and everything. Um, I don't think the the freckling is really overdone or anything on this one unlike a lot of others there there is some but it's not crazy now let me get this I have a feeling but I would not care to test it um, that you could if you wanted to um, remove the mask and I'm going to do something here. Sorry, guys. For the overly brightness. But I'm doing it for a reason. I'm doing it for your own good. There's the voice I was looking for the other day. I don't know if you guys can tell. But there is... Come on. Get closer where we can see you. Damn it. Holy back crap. I think that's too close. 
Uh, if you guys can tell, there's multicolor in the actual eyes. There's actual veining and then shading around the eye, uh, which is super crazy, super crazy. So props to them for that. Um, the shading on the hair, very well done. Um, not over exaggerated. Um, you do see a slight seam line across the top of the head, but not really noticeable. Um, cape material is very nice. I will probably feed um, a micro wire uh, up through here just so we can give it some variation. Um, one of the things I really wish they would do with with these is make the edge so that there's a, a tab to make it easier to grab hold of. Um, I know some people they just grab a exacto knife and do it and I'm like yeah no exacto knife cloth get away all right so here are the two snaps there on the back that those can snap into if you're wanting it closer to the body though I think unless something ends up happening and it just really puffs up um, it, it's it's fine just the way that it it, it sits um, color is gorgeous uh, nice and shiny gold you do get a good range of motion in the head uh, I'm not doing it 365 you do get not only an up and down with the head there but you also it also feels like you get one in the neck joint down here also you do so you can get some great posing out of here we're going to have to take some scissors and snip these, um, just these loose little threads here. Collar's nice and tight. You've got the, um, the threading for his, uh, for his vest down here. Um, the robin is, it feels like rubberized. That's nice and vibrant. And let me see if I can slide this off without doing or ruining anything doo, 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 doo. come on guys give me give me something to grab hold of Jimmy Christmas come on <clears throat> um, now uh, I don't know what is going on so I uh, don't think that I have insight or anything, but if you haven't been around before for uh, Comic-Con um, or like Spooktacular, um, definitely keep your eye on Twitter and also for on um, Facebook for contests that they end up having um, during those. Uh, especially spooktacular. Spooktacular is just a, a freaking blast. Um, the the last one, they usually win something every year, um, and a lot of people do. So I mean, they they give away a lot of spooktacular prize packs. Um, the last one that I I really remember, because um, if you guys know me or anything, I used to, um, and I, I think I mentioned this before, I used to be big into um, the premium formats and the actual statues. Um, and then I just ran out of room, and then some medical expenses, things like that, and, and uh, I had to get rid of all of them. Um, but, damn it. You take more time trying to get this plastic off of here um <clears throat> but their contests that they hold during those things are really cool um spooktacular 2010 or 2012 you spent like i think it was like 20 dollars <clears throat> that included shipping and they they sent you this uh, spooktacular box um, it had a drinking bottle, it had a couple of other things in it, um, and it had some special glasses and a decoder. Um, it was all around fun. Um, 
you know, a lot of people got together to decipher the clues um, that were given. Um, so they really make it a a group uh, a group thing. Um, all of the different between um, I don't know about Twitter, but I know like Facebook and web. Um, you know, they each had their own their own thing. Get off of there. I am not having a good day with plastic today. All right. And I'm really, uh, I was really trying to be careful with uh, the pants because I know that they do snag fairly easily. All right. So here we have the Boy Wonder. Um, good articulation, it feels like, in the ankles. Great paint application on the pixie boots. Um, you know, a couple people were like, I wish they'd done cloth. It's kind of hard to do cloth on something like that. Um, the knees, they are double jointed. You will need to be careful. Um, if you're real close, you can spot through them um, where the joints are on the knees, but it's not bad at all. The back, you can spot it, but you're not really going to be looking at the back. Um, the, ar the coloring on the arms fit the head well. The elbows are... They do only do the 90 and they have like three positions it's it's kind of weird how they are it's kind of a ratchet well this one's better this one has a lot maybe this one just funky so you do get side to side and up and down uh, mobility does feel pretty good Uh, the gauntlets are really nice. They are open in the back, as they should be. And then you've got the hands. Nice rotation on the hands. You do get a decent crunch out of it. Um, there is padding in here through, not the chest, I'm trying to feel through the stomach and groin area. So guys, all in all, I am very happy with uh, happy with this. I'm not sure what position that I'm going to put this into, but uh, um, we'll we'll figure out something. Um, I am looking for which ones. I guess I can use that one. No. So we'll pop off that one. We'll pop on that one because there's one pose that's just awesome that you have to do at least once with Boy Wonder. Where is a fist for the right? So you do not get any bicep rotation in there. So Rotate that back a little bit. See if we can get that where he's about to knock some suckers out. All right, guys. So that's it for the Boy Wonder. Um, stay tuned. Uh, coming up will be uh, the Batman. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you guys all enjoy. And uh, until next time, next uh, Gundam channel, next Gundam time. Peace out.